So you might have been browsing through your Discord server settings and you noticed this widget tab. Well, widgets are basically a fancy dancy way of previewing your server and see how many members are online and also invite people to your own server. So I'm going to show you how to set one up and how easy it is. It's actually really straightforward. So first off, you need to enable a server widget. Then you have an invite channel. This is going to be the channel that if people click join on your widget, it's going to go to that specific channel. In this case, it's going to the about us channel, which is kind of like an information channel about the server. Anyways, you have all this other fancy dancy server ID, JSON API stuff. All you want to do is just copy and paste this pre-made widget. So copy it. Then we need to go to a website maker, whatever you have. And in this case, I have two different options. I have my awful Wix website that I totally don't pay attention to. Then I have a Google Sites website that I don't pay attention to either. So for Wix, this one is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is just click add. Then you just need to go to embed. Then you will see custom embed. Then you just want to click embed a widget. Then you want to drag it wherever you want, click enter code, and you want to paste in the code that we copied from Discord. And when you click update, what will happen is you will notice, oh, dang, you get this preview, which is the widget itself. Now, that's basically how to do it on Wix. Now, I'm going to focus on using sites.google just because I personally like it a lot more. So close that bad boy. And now I am on my Google site thing. All you need to do is just double click. Then you need to click embed. And once again, embed code, then you need to paste in the code, click next, then you'll get a little preview, click insert. And now all you need to do is just adjust it to wherever you want and resize it so it actually makes sense. Drag it down a little bit and then center it right on the web page. And now that is your Discord widget. Now I'm going to go into preview mode so at least we can see how it looks. So for desktop, this is how it looks. If we go on mobile, this is how it'll look. Once again, this might change a little bit because mobile websites and stuff. The main thing to keep in mind is that scaling might not work too well, but on desktop, which is the main important one, you can see that I have a whole bunch of channels. I have Twitch voice channel, lounge, gaming, help, private, basically just your voice channels. Then if you scroll down, you'll have the amount of members online. It'll tell you how many members are online. And if you click connect right here, what will happen is it will actually send an invite to your server on someone's Discord thing. It'll basically just join the server. It's that straightforward. And it'll say, oh, do you want to join it? Just like someone clicking an invite link. Whoa, blatant cut there, but we'll just ignore it. But for example, this might happen to you. You might have a voice channel on your Discord widget that you don't want to show up. In this case, I have a senior mod voice call. What I need to do is I need to go into Discord. I need to navigate to that specific voice call channel. So in this case, it is going to be senior mod VC. I'm going to right click on it, click edit channel, go to permissions. And my permissions are set up where no one can see the channel. But what you need to do is you need to make sure that you have private channel enabled. This is going to tell the widget that you do not want to display this to the general public. Keep in mind that this really depends on if you messed up your permissions. I have my own Discord server and there are mistakes that will happen. So just make sure you have the channel set as private, save changes. Then when you do that, if you refresh the page, in this case, I'm just going to re-preview it. And now you will notice that the senior mod voice call is gone. It disappeared. It did, it did. So in that case, that is a Discord widget. Once again, if you don't want this, you can always disable it. But I think having it as an option is great if you have your own little website, which a lot of my community members do because they're smart little cookies. Anyway, sweetheart, I love you very much. Have a fantastic night. To Actually, this is uploaded in the... Uh, Time, it, it doesn't matter. You're going to watch it at some point, and I want you to have a fantastic night, okay? I love you. Mwah.